Hey everybody, it's me Sandy and I'm back with another nail art video. This time it's a Dragonfly Challenge Manny. So in May I decided to do a few nail art challenges and this is one of them and this was for the Glam Nails Challenge and these challenges are found on Instagram. It was nice to do some challenges to get a bit of direction and I'm doing even more for June so it should be pretty excited. This one for dragonflies just screamed spring purples and I just couldn't wait to use my lackluster um, tulip azuli again because I just love that color. So I'm just going to start off with my favorite base coat which is Anchor by Zoya. And so you know, my nails are shiny because I do have um, gel polish on, a couple coats of base and top coat, um, just to protect my nail beds while they grow out the damage from my um, experiment with gel extensions. I overfiled them taking them off. Uh, I couldn't see the difference of where my nail was and where the gel was coming off, so uh, please don't do this at home. Uh, <laughs> I am using the Zoya to anchor down, let's see the pun there, my um, regular nail polish on top of the shiny coat of no white top coat of my gel so that my mani stays on for a bit longer. So for my colors I'm going to be using Just Breathe by Orly Breathable and Tulip Azuli by Lacquester and that was in the April Hollow hookup box. I absolutely adore Adore this polish and it's just so sad that it is a limited edition polish because once it's gone it'll be gone. <laughs> I think that these two colors are gonna really go well together and make that dragonfly manny look so pretty. So starting off with the Orly Breathable Just Breathe, I'm going to place that on my index and ring fingers. I have already done my right hand off camera. We don't need to watch that awkwardness. Then I'm going to place the Tulip Azuli on my thumb and my other two fingers and I will be doing two coats of each on all my nails, um, of each on all my nails, two coats of each color on the appropriate nails and all the products are of course listed in the description box but sorry Tulip Azuli was a limited edition hollow hookup polish and you are not going to be able to get that, I'm sorry, but I think any other purple lavender hollow would look just beautiful. So before I get stamping, I'm just going to put on a coat of Sesh Feet Quick Dry Top Coat. I just like to have a coat of top coat on before I start stamping. I just think it's a much smoother surface and it's just a step I've always done. You don't have to do it, it's just a personal preference of mine. So these are the two plates that I'm going to be using. They are very inexpensive plates I got when I first started stamping and the etching is not very good, but that's what we're using. I'm also using my stamper from Clear Jelly Stamper as well as their stamping polish. I started off using the white, but my white is a little thick and I needed to thin it out and the etching on the plate's not very good. In all, it didn't prove to be a good stamping experience and it took me four attempts to even get a partial dragonfly and that is just me and white polish. I don't know what it is, but uh, I've opened up a new bottle of white since and it's been just fine. Maybe it was just one bottle that didn't seal properly, but I eventually gave up and moved to the angelic white, which is a pearlized white and I'm so, or actually a white shimmer, and I'm so happy that I switched to it. I think it actually went better with the holographic purple from the Tulip Azuli. Um, so it was a happy accident. So, you know, stamping isn't an exact science and sometimes it takes you a little bit more, but when you're dealing with too thick of a and quick drying of a stamping polish and a plate that's not etched properly and then waiting too long to put it on your nail because sometimes I think about it too long and the polish dries on my stamper. Um, yeah, sometimes I have some issues, but it all worked out. The angelic white actually stamped perfectly with these plates and I'm so happy with the results. 
So I'm going to finish up my stamped nails with my Smear Knot Top Coat from Clear Jelly Stamper. This is a great one to keep your design looking pretty and so you don't get streaks through it. It's always still important to make sure you do float your top coat so you don't drag your brush across your design so that it doesn't smear. So I do like to put a coat of Sesh Feet over top of my dried Smear Knot top coat. It's not required. It's again just a personal preference and something I like to do just to protect all my hard work. So here's my completed manicure and I am so happy with how the colors went together and how it all turned out. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, if you could please go down and hit that like button as well as subscribe and hit post notifications so you can find out when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.